Hey guys, yes. we're in Aomori. It's the northernmost prefecture of Japan on the main island of Honshu. Yeah, which is right underneath Hokkaido. Right, and we're at Aomori Station, mm -hmm. which is the main station here in this prefecture, Aomori City. Yeah, first of all, we went to see the dance called Enburi in Hachinohe City in Aomori Prefecture. Uh, this dance is basically what it is is that the uh, let the farming god know that spring is coming, so like, please wake up. So they do this dance in winter. It's really cold. We have a lot of festivals in Japan, but it normally takes place in summer. But this dance takes place in winter, so that you know spring is there. So wake up. The dance was really cool because we got to see both a traditional version and a modern version. Mm -hmm. And they gave us a meal along with it, which yeah, we weren't yeah. expecting. And we were a little worried because we, were, we knew it was going to be outside in the middle of winter. It was freezing outside. But actually we were sheltered on, what do you call that part of a house? A Japanese house. Engawa? Engawa. Yeah, we were sitting on the Engawa. We had uh, a blanket, a heater, and they gave us a title. Yeah, yeah. So it was actually pretty warm. I was fine. We also had a dish called senbei jiru, which is literally a pot with senbei in it. And the other one is called ichigoni. Ichigo means strawberry, so I expected to have like a strawberry in the pot, which sounds not really good, but <laughs> it turned out it was actually, um, what is it called? Uni? Uni, C or 10. Yeah. We'll see how this goes. All right. Oh, it's actually good. Oh, really? Cool. Yeah. Awesome. I can understand why people say it tastes like butter. It does. If you like it, I'm going to love it. I was pleasantly surprised. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. yeah. And this is another one we order. It's called senbei jiru. Senbei is like a rice cracker, mm -hmm. I guess. They put in the soup. I don't know how it's gonna taste like, <laughs> so I'm gonna try it now. We'll see. Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. Mm -hmm. I love it. <laughs> it's very mochi. Yeah. It's good. It, the texture is similar to mochi, the rice cake. It's really chewy. It's um, it's sturdy though. Mm. It's not really mushy. It's really it's good. It's chewy, but it's sturdy. No, oh, it's really good. Yeah, this is good. This is good. Unexpectedly good. I am <laughs> pleasantly surprised. And these two dishes are pretty famous and I think traditional Aomori dish. So if you come to Aomori, I think you should try. In traveling from Hachinohe to Aomori City, we took a lot of the back roads and stopped at Lake Tawada, which is a really large lake here in Aomori. Mm. The problem is, traveling through Aomori in the winter, a lot of the roads aren't paved for the snow and the snow gets really deep. Yeah. So sometimes if you're taking the back roads, suddenly you'll just get blocked off by snow. There's road and then suddenly there's no road anymore and you can't go. After that we went to the Nebuta Museum. So Nebuta is actually a festival that's held in August but all year long they have a museum right here next to the station that you can go to where you can see the giant parade floats. So these parade floats depict scenes that people recreate with wires and washi, Japanese paper, and they light them up from the inside. So there are these giant 3D recreations of scenes that are really amazing to see in real life. The pictures and videos definitely don't do them justice, so if you're in Aomori, you should absolutely go see them in person. Because Aomori is so close to the ocean, the seafood here is supposed to be really fresh and delicious, so a lot of the sushi restaurants come highly recommended. So another thing they have a lot of here in Aomori are shamisen themed restaurants, apparently. So yeah. we just got finished eating at a shamisen themed restaurant where they had some nebuta characters up on the wall as well, so best of both worlds. That's also right here next to the station, yeah. and it was really delicious. Yeah. That was really good food, so I definitely recommend going there if you have the option. And you may be wondering why I'm holding an apple. It's because um, what is famous for apples. <laughs> 
Uh, actually, I went to one Apple store this morning and they had like 22 different kinds of apples and I got one each of those, so I'm gonna try all of those back in Tokyo <laughs> with Chris. So, stay tuned. So I hope you guys enjoyed our trip through Aomori in the winter. We're gonna be taking you along some tours of some other prefectures in the future. But next up, Kim Dowell and Chris Broad will be giving you a tour of Miyagi, so stay tuned for that. That's good, that's nice. Really juicy. How are they growing this in the winter? 